Drake is back with Scary Hours, featuring two new tracks, God's Plan and Diplomatic Immunity. God's Plan is sure to get some playlist love, but Diplomatic Immunity contains a ton of references. Let's begin with the most brazen. Violating the Treaty of Asai, Champagne is the alias, but no cease and desist and I, I. Refuse to comply with regulations. Drake is referencing Hitler's battle plans as a metaphor for his hostile mood. And as genius editor John Redwood explains, in 1936, Hitler broke the Treaty of Versailles, which became one of the inciting incidents for World War II. And the next illegal step Hitler took was to march his troops into the Rhineland, a strip of land between Germany and France, demilitarized after the last war as a precaution against future German aggression. The cease and desist part could also reference Drake's alleged ghostwriter, Quentin Miller's track of the same name. Or the fact that it's illegal in many countries to name things champagne if they aren't grapes from the French region. Elsewhere, he touches on the year he dropped his debut album, Thank Me Later, and his rumored fling with Jennifer Lopez, along with a nod to her current boyfriend, Alex Rodriguez. 2010 was when I lost my halo. 2017, I lost a J-Lo. A Rotterdam trip had me on front page though. In addition to the nod to Dipset's debut album, Diplomatic Immunity, and the song's title, Drake's cut also contains bars from another New York City rap collective, Wu Tang Clan. A theme since Scary Hours is also the name of a Wu Tang Clan song. They tell me, don't worry, I got your money like Osiris. Baby, I got your money. Drake spreads the love, including references to the Chicago trio Do or Die and Colombian singer Shakira. Yeah, who am I, the do or die? Whenever, wherever, OVO will always be together like Shakira. And it wouldn't be a proper Drake confessional without a mention of Rihanna, especially by her government name. Catering is from Giorgio Bardi, Robin's favorite. TDE SZA gets some born name love too. I just pulled up on Solana show, the girls are natural. This next bar could be addressing the rumors that swirled around Drake in 2017, after two women claimed to be pregnant by the rapper. I got the sauce and now shorties keep claiming Prego. Choose taste, choose Prego. And this isn't the first time the MC has rapped about paternity. Paternity testing for women that I never slept with. I'm legally obligated if they request it. Drake also appears to target Complex's everyday struggle. Shit is complex like short niggas round tall ladies. I gotta watch who I'm talking to like it's all ages. Along with DJ Academics and former host Joe Budden. I've seen Budden careers turn to sit around and talk about other careers, judging their peers. Knowledge from niggas who did not contribute to none of this here. But Drake reminds listeners that he's a hip hop heavyweight by mentioning the 13 Billboard trophies he won in 2017. Billboard Awards, I claim 13 out in Vegas like Serenios. Drake links his winning number with the Serenos gang, which also goes by Sir 13. On the sports side, Drake invokes an elusive Hall of Fame running back for these next bars. Like Sanders on the Detroit Lions, get a run around and I'll bury it where they won't find you. Drake also borrows a classic line from Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. I'll be in better company with my own reflection, mirror, mirror, on the ceiling of my sweetie. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? It seems that Drake's diplomatic immunity is more than a history lesson and a tearful ode to J-Lo. I'm Jacques Morel with Genius News, bringing you the meaning and the knowledge behind the music. Peace. Diplomatic immunity, fuck em.